In this video I will show you how to manage uh, footer and header from one place. So many clients wish to manage footer from one specific place. Why we didn't do that in our demo? Because we wish to build everything possible with free Elementor version and the block pages, for example, are not supported in free Elementor version. Also, header and footer visual designing are also not supported in free Elementor version. So you need uh, like Elementor Pro or uh, some third party free plugin to manage header and footer. Now, first option what you can do is to use standard WordPress header and footer uh, like we have here on the block. Uh, so this way you will not be able to visually design header and footer in Elementor, but you can use this one. And this one is actually built in customizer. So if you open customize here, you will see some edit on header, edit on button, and same on the footer. You have edit buttons here. But you can, for example, drag and drop or change some very, very nitty details. So I will show you now how to use this header and footer on all pages. So for example, let's say you wish to use it on the contact page. What you can do, you can edit this page. And here you will see template. So you can choose one from the menu here. And now I'm using Elementor on can canvas. Uh, this, this means that Elementor is used on the whole page. So even on header footer. If we change to Elementor full width and update this page. Page updated. Okay, let's open this page. Oh, now we have two header and footers. Why that? Because we're using that standard, uh, which is built in Elementor and one from default from WordPress. And what you can do now, you can you can go to every page edit with Elementor and just remove these two sections. So like right click and uh, delete and then update. That's one option. I want to tell you also, you can change this template here in the Elementor. So just, just click on the settings. So I, hit, I click here on the settings. And then you have page layout. So you can change it also here. Okay, I will now change back to Elementor Canvas and update. And you will see now this header and footer, which is coming standard in WordPress, are hidden again. Okay, that's first option, and you need to do this on all pages. Because, why you need to do this on all pages? Because we used the free Elementor version to build everything visually. Uh, why we do that? Because you will be able to copy this header into now this header footer which we will use. I will show you now. So second option is to use Elementor Pro or some free header footer plugin for Elementor. For this purpose, I will install Elementor header and feed footer builder plugin. Okay, let's go to plugins in the dashboard, add new. I will search for header footer. And this plugin I will use from Brainstorm 4, so Elementor header and footer builder. Install now. Activate. Okay, we activated this plugin. So in appearance, now you will found this Elementor header and footer builder. I will add new template. Uh, this step I will skip, it's not important. I will name it uh, test header one. Uh, type of template, let's say header, display on, entire web website. Use the rules, not important. 
and upload for Elementor Canvas template. You will remember this Canvas template which we used. So here you can choose this checkbox and publish. Okay, let's see our contact page. It's still same. Why is same? Because we didn't edit this header in Elementor. Let's go to Elementor. So here we now uh, need to build this header. What I will do here? Okay, I will go to contact page, edit in Elementor. You can also go here. And now I will choose this. Right click, copy. Right click, paste. Okay. Second section, right click, copy. Go to header, right click, paste. And we have our header now ready. Update. Let's go to contact page, refresh. Voila. And we have now this header, which is built completely in Elementor here. And we have also our old, old header here. So what you need to do? You need to go to all pages and remove this old header. I will refresh this page here. That's Elementor Builder for our contact page. I will now remove these two sections, which we don't need anymore, and update. Let's go to contact, refresh, and now we have only one header, which we can edit in Elementor. I will, for test purposes, I will just change this here to the, and update. Let's go to contact page, refresh, and here we have, so we have this in Elementor. Now you go to all, all Elementor pages and do this thing the same. You can do same thing for footer. Also, in, we have documentation here, so you can found this, I think we put this into uh, frequently asked questions. Uh, yes, here you wish to use same header for all pages. So everything is also the script here. Uh, if you didn't catch anything, you can go slowly also here. Thank you on watching and see you in next video. Bye.